Hello everyone. Welcome to Tag Tuesday. Welcome to my home. This is Charlotte. We are playing with frames today for Tag Tuesday, so I hope that you will enjoy this. And also, if you've got frames, pull them out. If you don't have frames, but you have die cuts, you can make frames, you can cut out frames. So uh, don't let that fool you into thinking that you can't do it because you can. So the first one, I have quite a few of the um, Tim Holtz portraits, the large portraits. And so as you know, I've been trying to go through my stash and using things that we have. So this week I played with these guys. And I also have some Tim Holtz frames. So this is what I came up with. I took a piece of, I believe this is, yes, the back side of Stamperia, the cover, and thought he was perfect with this. Then I took one of the frames, added one of the tiles and a couple of the pieces of ephemera, put a little gold on here. I did some sanding on the edge so it's a little bit rough and um, came up with this idea. Now, if you wanted to use this as a tag, you could easily cover this up or just leave it. You can write over this, but I thought he would make a great pocket or a tuck. I, I am in love with him. He would be even really cute on the cover of a journal. So I'm not, I'm not so sure what I'm gonna do with him yet. I like the idea of a uh, journal cover, so maybe that's what I'll do with him. But uh, I feel good that I've been using these guys this week. So this is another large portrait. I did use my X-Acto knife and cut this frame out and then layered it with uh, pieces of ephemera, another tile, a couple more tiles over a, a uh, ticket. So you've got a large tag here. I thought about cutting a hole and putting some trim up there and then I decided, well, he too would be really cool on a journal page as a tuck or a pocket. So there's options with them. And then this one here, thought he was extra cute. Of course, I didn't even realize that there's a P for Peterson and an R for Richard, which is my husband's name. So yeah, I kind of used our initials, but I did the same thing. I took an X-Acto knife and cut out the frame. This one I put on the outside and this on the inside. So um, it kind of gave you a different perspective, which I like. This is the back. This was done using a six by six uh, piece of cardstock and then uh, some ephemera pieces up there. And once again, it could easily be um, a tuck, a tag, or a pocket. And then the last one I did was this one here. Love this, did the same thing with him. This part here, you can't tell it, but it is tucked underneath the frame and this part is over the frame. So I thought we would be making, and again, this is on the back of the Stamperia page because this is the same background as the first one I showed you. Now you'll see this frame I cut out and used it as the actual tag. This, I cut the frame out and backed it on the tag. So there is a different look there, but aren't they, aren't they cute? Let me know if you like these, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you think about the, them. And so we are going to be doing two today. We're going to be doing one like this with a, with a pre-bought frame and then one where I cut the frame out. So I think the first one that we're gonna do is where I cut the frame out because that's the most difficult. And we are using two ladies this time. This is the frame, the store-bought Tim Holtz frame that we're gonna be using. So I thought we would, I went ahead and just to make things quicker, I um, went ahead and cut everything out already. So what I did is I decided the portrait, and that is, 
this sweet woman here. And I kind of layered her, wanted to know what my background was going to be. And I liked the idea of having some color. And so then that's how I measured my frame. So you would mark your frame off and you could see it's not completely straight. You know me, I don't cut straight and obviously I don't draw a straight line either. So let me see if I can just, if you can't get it straight, don't worry. You can cover that up with ephemera. It's not a big deal. It doesn't have to be perfect. You've heard me say that before. So don't worry about it. And then I was thinking maybe I would make this the tag. So we just would cut this off wherever we wanted it. Um, we could fold it back on itself. But um, yeah, I think this is what we're going to do. So I am going to distress the inside of this. And no, I haven't re is isn't that's pretty pathetic, isn't it? Yeah, I mean it really is. Charlotte, come on. I don't want this heavily um inked. I just want you to be able to distinguish where the edge is of the frame versus the background. So we're just going to lightly go around here. This would, your, cutting your frames out would be way easier if you had a die cut. I do have a die cut. I would just was too lazy to go over to the machine and find the die cut and cut them out. So, you know, shame on me. But yeah, that's the truth. That is the truth. So instead I sat here, measured, and took an X-Acto knife. And, you know, even though I use the X-Acto knife, this is not exact. So, let's see. Do we look pretty good? I think we look pretty good. Maybe a tiny bit more right here, but I think we, we're looking good. And you can see there's shred. I promise at the end of this video, I will do what I need to do. See, that, that, sh that makes it show up a lot nicer. Okay, so we know that this is going to be the top. That's going to be the background. And so what I'm going to do is just get rid of the white. I don't really want to ink her, but I don't want the white showing. Don't really have to worry about the bottom because you're not going to see it. So let's see what we've got. How do we want to place her? So I am thinking I do want this on the outside because I like those flowers. So I'm thinking we will put her how much of that? I think, doesn't that look good? That way you see she's, she's all the way to the edge, but it won't matter. I don't like her cutting the flower off. So I'm thinking we want her right there. So then what I'm going to do is just carefully pick her up and put some glue under here. Whoop, I already see I moved it. Let's move it back. Get it where you want it, Charlotte. Glue that down like that, and then, uh, hopefully I'm on camera, I'm going to lift this, and get some glue here. And I can see again, I moved it. It's heating up here, and we're having air conditioning issues still, guys. Yeah, we are. Okay. I think I might be good. Let's turn this and let me get her down. Like that. Okay. Then let's get this edge down. I think I'm down enough where I can Go ahead. Let 
think I'm thinking of doing something different with the top by folding it over because I've got this strip that's long enough. So, um, because see what we're going to have is we're going to have this and I don't like that. Um, don't think that that's so nice to look at. And because I let this, we can actually take this piece, fold it down like this, and still have a tag. Ooh, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think we will. So we're going to fold this over. Do I have a bone folder? Excuse my reach, guys. So this actually measures, pretty sure this is going to be 12 inches. Because this is from a Stamperia 12 by 12. So we've got 12. This is three and a half inches wide. And then my um, actual cutout, because this is a half an inch, a half an inch, and usually I like to go an inch, but I had cut it wrong. So it's... It's almost three quarters. So the inside frame is two and a half by three and a half. So hopefully that will help you out. And this, then we are going to, oh, that's going to make a really cute tag. Yep. Okay. That's what we're going to do then. We're, we are, and I am, even though there's a fold here, I know I'm going to cut this in a tag shape. So we're going to glue this. Could have done this with my um, glue tape dispenser. But we're going to do this. Yep, let's do this. Isn't she so cute? Then I'm going to take and I'm going to punch using the largest. like that and now look at what a nice tag that is yeah nice okay so then what we're gonna do is um let me put this in there so I don't get a clog and then we're gonna use it again then lightly just lightly gonna go around this both sides just lightly. I don't want a lot of color. I want it bright. And so this one, I think for sure, we're going to put a, a um, some type of ribbon on this. She's just too pretty. I love that I am using these portraits because I've been looking at these portraits and I've been thinking, you have them, you need to use them. So I don't want a lot of ephemera on her and I don't want her to be um, vintage. I mean, she is vintage, but I don't want a lot of that around her. So I had pulled one of these butterflies And a couple of these Tim Holtz uh, flowers. So we're going to see. This was my idea. I didn't want anything really, really bright. So we're going to see if we frame her with this. If it just kind of maintains that delicate look that I'm looking for. But I was noticing if I do this, I don't know where I'm going to put the butterfly. That's the problem. And I really, really like that. So maybe we'll go without a butterfly. Um, I liked the idea of the butterfly to kind of pull the pink out. I don't want a butterfly sitting on top of her head. So I think we are going to stay with this and maybe put a word Remember the words from the grabby box? Maybe we'll find, see if we can find something really cute. Oh, 
Yep, my, uh, sometimes my, I have noticed that my little metal thing, see that? I don't know if y'all are having trouble, comes out of here and I'm thinking that I could use this glue without that. But um, I'm wondering if, yeah, I've been using this glue bottle for years. So it, it would, Gigi gave me this and uh, she actually sent me two of them. Absolutely love these. I think I'm gonna have to check and see if they're on Amazon and get some more. Um, the other one, uh, my niece that you've heard me speak about, I need to pull up her digitals. Uh, she, she has, is just starting. And so I sent mine to her. And so I only have the one and I love it. I love working with these little bottles versus the big one. I can't tell you why. I think I'm just used to it. There's really no difference. One is just shorter than the other, but um, I love these bottles. So, Gigi, if you're watching, can you let me know in the comments where you picked yours up? So I want a little bit of a bend. Isn't that just cute? Okay, let's see if we can find a word. And I have to get into the grabby box. So quickly, pretty sure it was in that envelope. Let's see. Words. All right. Well, we know we don't want the black. It's way too bright. So we could use the white or we could use maybe this color. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's use this color, this kind of cream color. And you had two pages of words and both are the same. So what do we think? I know I want to put a... Uh, I know I want to put a ribbon on here. Love yourself first. I love that. Love, enjoy little moments. Ooh, maybe enjoy little moments. I like the background of the enjoy little moments. Is that going to fit? Yes. Ooh, guys, I think this is perfect. Don't want it too, too dark. I have to say that the words in that grabby box, if you didn't watch my grabby haul, it was last week. The words, these words are just, I'll hold them up for you to see in just a second. Should probably should have gotten out my tweezers. Let's see. I pick it up, make sure it's straight. <gasps> Look how cute. Okay, look at this. You don't usually find words like this. Nobody else can be you. Freedom, see the good. Sunset, sunsets, brush, horizons. Being yourself is an honor, as you wish. I mean, meadows of wildflowers. Just, just beautiful sentiments. So, um, okay, so we're going to look at this now and... Do I want to go ahead and, let's see, do I have my, my, see, I am just having trouble with this. Let's just take it off there. We'll just put this in like this and I'll deal with that later. Okay, so do I have my ribbons? Yes, I do. I have to get up. Let me see if I have any ribbons in this bag that are going to work on this. And if we do, then we'll go ahead and she's so soft and so feminine looking. Look at that. Would that work? Do I have a green? I don't think I have a green. Wait a minute. I do see a little bit of green right here. Here it is. What are you looking at, Charlotte? 
Ooh, maybe that one. Oh, that, that's perfect. Okay, let's do it then. Because we have it. Let's do it. Let's make this happen. So we're going to use our crocodile. We're going to add a hole. Then we're going to get into our, you know what? I've got some green. So how about hmm, maybe a lighter one? Yep, we're going to use that. And so let's get this on there. I kind of love how this comes off the page. This comes off the page. Turn this around. Where are we? Should be here. Okay. All right, we'll get this in there. Charlotte, you've got the wrong. What is wrong with you? It's early. There we go. I don't know what I'm thinking. Come on, squeeze this. There you go. Perfect. Okay. There we go. Oh, she's cute. All right. So we're going to use this great trim. Uh, Junk Journal Sisters on Etsy is where I get these bags of trim. The prices are fantastic. And the variety is wonderful. So let's tie this off. Tying it off, cut it right there like that. I mean, I just don't know where you can get such a variety of trims as you get here. So yeah, one of my favorite. Look at that. So she's cute. All right, shall we do, let's do, we don't want you. Let's do this one. So, um, yeah, we need a back for her. So what, don't you just love that? <laughs> so what are we going to back you with? Let me see. I have a stack of, she does not look like a pink person at all. Although, I don't know, that looks kind of good. I was really thinking she would be more of, let's see what I've got. That might be too small. Don't want to do the same. Could try the pink. Don't know that I think she is a pink person, though. Let's check her out. I mean, it would work, but let's see her up against. Something like this. Mm, I think I might prefer that. Here's a little bit of a, ooh, that's pretty. A little bit of a design, what's on that side? Ooh, maybe she would look good with some, there we go, how does that look? Oh, I like that. I like with some writing behind her. Or, ooh, I think that this is, that won't work. Ooh, I think maybe, can I use, there's a tree, there's some numbers, but I think they will be hidden. If I, that's upside down, that won't work. If I put this like that, you don't know that's a tree. You're not going to be able to tell, but I think she will hide all those numbers. Yeah, 
that's just a waste. But if I went this way, we're not losing anything. Let's see. What do y'all think? Should she go? Should she go? Or I think this because it's just lighter. I think I like that better. Well, not really, though. Now we're going to do this. Okay, let's do this. I just didn't think she looked like she needed to be with any pink. Just didn't seem right. All right, so now we need to see where we need to cut down our paper. So... I don't want to have to mess with cutting scallops, so we're going to be inside that. I want to try the other side, too, shouldn't I? So we're going to cut there and, I guess, like right there. Okay. And then let's try the other side, because that might be the one we want. Okay. So we're going to go right there. And... We're going to go right, right there. And of course, now we've got scraps. Let's check this out. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I want that out. That's how that looks. No, I think I like this one better. I think I like that. Now, do I want her with her shoulder out of the frame? Or do I want her totally in the frame? And what I did with the gentleman is his body's in the frame, but his head is out. So she would be like that. All right, let me think for a second. But I, I had ephemera on the gentleman. I think I'm going to have her out like this. Yeah, I want her like this. So let's go ahead and position her the way we want her. I could put her that way and have, have this showing. Ooh, let's do this. I like that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so the glue and let's glue this down. This is really pouring out. Now I know why. I need the little, I need the little, little metal thing in there. I'm going to hold that down for a second. Let's see if I can get this back in there. And I'm thinking, do I want to use wax? I've got my waxes over here. There we go. All right, so we know we want that. And we want... Glue up here. Like that. Then we can see we have to cut this. And then glue this down. So 
Hopefully y'all are enjoying this make. If you have the large portraits, hopefully this is giving you an idea of what you can do with them. She would be really, really cute also on a journal cover. Okay, then we're going to put this back there like that. Let's see, I think I like this better. Yeah, so let's glue this. And I think what I'm going to do is put the glue... on the frame. Sorry, I know I just got quiet only because I'm thinking. And then let's go ahead and just get the edges to make sure that it's totally glued down. like that. Hopefully none of that cardstock is showing and it isn't. Oh, she looks so good. But I think I am going to leave her. Might be kind of cool to have something over here. I don't have any flowers out. Let me see what I have. Um, let's see what we've got here. Well, we don't want that. We could. That would be cute. Let's see. We don't want something that's so big or that's got so much color that it's going to take away from her. We don't want to take away from her. And I don't know that I want to pull in um, a yellow. Here's a smaller one. Let's see. I think if we're going to do anything, it's going to be something like that. I do have, I don't have any small black and white. That may have been. That's a possibility. That I think is too bright. So I'm thinking... But that's probably another black and white. I could possibly cut. Ooh, I like the black and white. Let me see. But I like that. That's just so subtle. What do y'all think? I need your help. What do we think? That's too big. I could cut. I could cut this right up there like that. And we could use this. That's really pretty. Or I could cut this. You know what? We're going to do this. We're going to cut this. If it doesn't look good, we'll come up with another plan. But I think if I cut this just like this, right up there, we can use this for another, another day. And I think this, look at that. Yep, I think so. Let's just get some of this off. Like that. We'll place it. Oh, perfect. Okay. That's perfect. What do y'all think? Let me know what y'all think. I think it needed it. I think we'll go just like that. Yeah. And so now, do I want wax. Do I want a word? I could do a word. Hmm. Do we need a word? 
That's the question. Sometimes you may want to do a word, but if you don't need a word, oh, it might look good though. Let's see. Tranquility. Seize the day. Sunflower. Renaissance. Would we want the word at the top? I think maybe I like tranquility. Let's do it. What the heck, right? What the heck? Lightly, just very lightly. I really should have my tweezers, Charlotte. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do it. Tranquility. They're pretty sticky, but I always add glue. I don't think I want it at the top. No, I want it at the bottom. And then I was thinking of adding a little bit of gold glue, but or wax. But as I look at her, I don't think I want to do that. Um, let me see the waxes that I've pulled over here and see what we can do. Because this frame has a finish, I think if I use the waxes, I probably could wipe them off if I don't like it. So let's see what I've got. I've got copper over here. There I go with my light, sorry guys. I've got metallic, but I've got this embellishing wax. You've seen me use this before. Let's try this and see what happens with this. Well, you gotta get some on your finger. Come on, I'm so afraid that I'm just not really putting much on. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe just, maybe just along the edge. Let's try it along the edge because that I'm not a fan of that. So let's just lightly go along the edge. Just kiss, see how you can just just like a little kiss of gold. See that? Now that I like. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Hopefully I'm on camera. Yes, that's beautiful. Look at that. Okay. Should we give her a little gold? Let's see. Almost there. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes, really pretty. Look at that. Just lightly go over the word. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. All right, let's see if we want any on this. Ooh, I do like it. Let's go ahead. Kind of makes the paper richer looking. So let's... Gives it some depth. So let's do this. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. You can see the gold. I'll hold it up to the light in just a second. This I have to say is one of my all time favorite waxes. It smells good. It's, um, it makes your paper really soft. 
and it gives it a beautiful sheen. It's um, kind of hard to find. Usually they're always sold out. See the difference in the colors between the inside and the outside? This is what it is. It is a Maker Studio Gold Embellishing Wax. But look at this. Can you see that? Can you see that shimmer? Isn't that pretty? It just really kind of rich. It made this much more rich. So let's put this away and we'll go over what we did. So we created her today. So cute. Cute, cute tag. And we created her. I love her. Look at that. So, so cute. So we have those two. And then off camera, I did him, which I dearly love. I think he is so handsome. And then these three. So guys, let me know in the comments what you think what you think. Thank thank you so much for hanging out with me and if you've got the large portraits, pull them out and um, have some fun with them. Enjoy the rest of your day. Big hugs everyone. Bye.